Hello all, welcome to oratrainings.com. In this session, we'll discuss about the AP invoice in Oracle Cloud ERP. Okay, so we'll just try to understand how do we create from UI and also we'll just try to understand the important tables which are involved in the AP invoice. So like uh, what is the AP invoice actually in which part of the process it is involved. So here if you observe, AP invoice generally it is part of P2P cycle and it is it is where you know we have highlighted here generally like when in the procure to pay cycle so it starts with the requisition then quotation purchase order then the PO receipt then you know like you will create an AP invoice based on the purchase order like a set of details from like a when you are when you are dealing with the purchase order what we do we just mention with supplier and what are the items you want to buy so that set of information will be available in the AP invoice and based on the AP invoice information, generally you pay the amount, pay the invoice amount to the supplier. And then after that, you'll be transferring to general ledger. And here it's not that like always AP invoice has to depend up, has to be dependent depend on the purchase order you can also create indi like independent AP invoice also in our case, we just simply try to understand how do we create an AP invoice. And also like uh, how do we post the invoice to general ledger and uh, some information about the tables and the XLA linkage, sub ledger accounting linkage, okay? So let's start. And what is the navigation to create invoice? You just need to navigation to the payables application and uh, you just need to click on the invoice page and then you'll be navigated to the invoice landing page, okay? So let's see that. So we'll just go here to the instance. Now click on payables application, click on invoices. And so it shows the main set of you know like a uh, infolets like uh, you'll have the set of invoices which are scanned and the recent in trans recent invoice which we created within 24 hours and set of invoices based on the holds approval and all those information okay now just click on this task list and the first one in the invoice section click on create invoice so we'll be navigate to the invoice page and here let's start with entering the mandatory parameters generally we start with the business unit so by default based on the access which you have for your user the business unit will be populated or you can change it then enter the supplier information let's say let's try to enter dell and i just mentioned supplier information it will populate the supplier site as well as legal entity based on the supplier site and you can mention the invoice number let's say i'll mention ap invoice xx ap invoice 002 and then mention amount okay so here we have different types of invoice types okay so we'll just go with the default one standard invoice okay and uh, payment terms and the invoice creation date this is all stuff you can mention and then as we discussed just now like we can create invoice based on a pivo let us say if you have the pivo information you can mention the pivo if you don't have any pivo information let us say you want to create individual invoice you can simply don't mention the invoice uh, PO information, just enter the invoice header. And then you can just click on this particular, click on this particular line, I mean this icon, and uh, let's see what happens now. So it is saying like whether you want to search any invoice, search any PO, we don't want to search anything, right? So just cancel that, okay? So automatically it will populate a blank file lines, okay? So let us say even if you don't want to enter file lines for a given invoice so what happens is once you just enter the enter the required set of lines information then you click on save the nullified lines will get removed okay so by default it just populates five blank lines based on our requirement we can enter at the file lines or you can just enter one line and you can just leave it like that i'll just mention the amount okay and then mention the distribution set like how you want to distribute this particular amount and that's it nothing to enter as of now tax will be calculated okay so now when i clicked on say what is happening it says not validated okay so tax is not calculated by default what you do click on invoice action and click on calculate tax now calculate tax and then we'll understand what will happen now can you see now the tax was calculated and it says again a warning information because we entered only 1500 at the invoice header level but the amount we have to enter is 1642.50 so i'll just mention that 1642.50 and then click on save Okay, now again, try, retry, calculate tax. Now it has to be validated, right? Now it shows a green color icon. Okay, click on save again. Okay. Now then the next thing what you can do is you can just simply click on post to ledger. Okay, now what is happening? What are the data which we entered? It is available only at the invoice level, nothing but the AP table, AP table itself. Now, 
let us say we have created invoice now we want to post this information to the gl general ledger okay so then what we have to do just click on invoice action and click on post ledger okay it gets posted to the ledger okay it says you must validate the invoice before it can be accounted so again yeah i think we have not valid we just mentioned only calculate tax we have not validated okay so you have to click on validate and this validated has to be set to validated then only can post to ledger now the status is validated right now then try again click on post to ledger it may take a while to post into ledger okay it says accounting is complete means probably it is posted to ledger okay and now we can just click on view accounting and you can click on view t accounts it shows how the amount is distributed and what are the general lines it may not have the information totally about the general uh, like uh, your general header kind of thing but it just tells you the general information like how it got posted based on the distribution which we mentioned okay so you can just ignore this one now so before proceeding about the sla details let us understand some of the basic tables of the ap invoice okay so now so to start with the first one is header information which will be stored in the ap underscore invoices all and then the next one is the line information right so whatever the information which we enter the invoice header it clearly tells you the invoice header this information will be available in the ap invoices all okay and of course like uh, the business unit will be available in the fun business units table supplier will be available in the poz supplier table okay this one poz suppliers supplied sites and the business unit will be available in the fn fun all business units be and then coming to the uh, like of course the payment terms will be ap terms table okay then the coming to the lines table and lines will be available in the ap invoice invoice lines and tax information also will be available in the ap invoice lines table itself then coming to the next one distributions will be available in the ap invoice distribution all table okay this one and when you deal with the payments like let us say you have an invoice and like uh, you have a payment schedule like a based on the payment terms nothing but let us say whether you have to repay the invoice amount within a one month or a six months right so you'll have the appropriate scheduling of the payments and based on the amount you pay to the supplier then you, what will happen like uh, it will have the appropriate check generated if at all if at all if you're banking integration or if you're paying it manually it all depends upon how you're paying it and then you'll have the data of that payment information in the ap invoice payments all as well as the ap payment schedules all table okay and then this tax profile will be the tax profile of your supplier and then once you have once you do the payment like uh, if you have bank integration what will happen is they can generate a bank transaction report and like uh, you have to link to ca bank accounts table as well as ib ibby payments payments all table which will have the banking information and the other one like uh, when you are posting to general ledger these are the very important two tables like uh, xla events as well as xla ae headers and these two table will provide a linkage between your ap invoices as well as general ledger okay we'll see that now okay so now what we want to do is i'll just try to end like i show you one particular uh, this one so this is one of my existing one but let will try to enter the one which we created just now i think yeah this is ap xs ap invoice underscore two i just mentioned my invoice number copy this and i'll just go to my vip so just reload we just want to find out what is our gl batch name or header name okay once we that once we have that information what we want to do is we just want to check the entry of the general ledgers like what lines it created what is the amount of it right so the batch name is just copy the batch name okay now what you do go to the general ledger i'll try to navigate from home screen again to just show you like how do we navigate to gl you just need to click on general accounting Okay, let me check here. Yeah, general accounting. Click on journals, and now click on the task list. Click on many journals, and now mention the batch name, general batch, and you can just remove the period name if at all if it could be a different period. Click on search. Okay. Yeah, so this is our like a uh, you know like a uh, 
we created our particular general entry in the primary ledger, like US primary ledger, right? So just click on the first one. Okay, and it is unposted. And can you see the amount? Sixteen forty-two. And what was the amount we had in our uh, AP invoice? Sixteen forty-two. And this information, like uh, maybe if you just see the distribution distribution entry, so it just says the distribution set. It will not actually give you the total distribution information, right? So, and to get the total distribution information. The only information from where, like uh, how the amount which we mentioned at the invoice level, invoice lines level, how it got distributed to different accounts. This is where it will get distributed. But how, like how this distribution happens? Because based on the SLA configuration, the accounting set, uh, ledger accounting, sub ledger accounting configuration, which you have, I mean, which was done on that particular uh, ledger. I mean, yeah, ledger. Based on that, it will it will get distributed distributed to these set of accounts. Okay, so this is how we create an invoice, and you know, like uh, this is how the data gets transferred from transferred from AP invoice to ledger. Of course, we have not discussed about the paying an invoice, but we what we have discussed is just how do we create invoice, how do we create invoice, and how do we transfer to GL journal. Okay, and also the set of table details and what is the linkage between Excel table and AP invoice table is very simple. So here, if you observe. In the AP invoice distribution all, the major linkage between AP invoice table as well as accounting events table is accounting event ID. Okay, accounting event ID, this one, Excel events. So based on the accounting event ID, and that is linked to the distributions. Once you have the distribution linkage, you can create a linkage between two AP invoices as well as AP invoice, I mean, headers as well as lines. And also what, what is the linkage between the general headers and general lines is just observe this one. So based on this particular, uh, so here, if you observe, this is general lines and yeah, import references. So this one, accounting event lines table will have the import references, which will have the GL, like import reference GL subledger link table information. And based on this one, you get the JE header ID. Once you get the JE header ID, you can get all the batch information, general header, as well as line information. Okay, so this is all about AP invoices and some of the table information of the AP invoice. Thank you.